Hello my friends and welcome to your August product update video. We have one fantastic update for you this month, but before I show you the details, let's see what you thought about last month's update. Floating email editor and image view. Awesome. Going to make things so much easier. Way to go guys. Love the email floating text bar. The email builder improvement. Excellent news that the text editor bar now floats. Awesome guys. Starting to see a pattern here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the floating text editor bar. That is something that has driven me nuts forever. Now I can edit really long emails with greater ease. Previews of the image files rock. I bow down before the update team. Thank you, I'm sure they appreciate that. And last but not least, the floating bar. I found it waiting one day and it's all its lovely blueness and was so happy that I had to tweet about it. What a fantastic addition. It saves so much time scrolling and cursing. Thanks folks. Love that you listen to us and continue to improve on an already incredible tool. Well, we thank you for your feedback that you submitted every single month. And if you did not get a chance to watch the July 2017 product update video, make sure that you take time to do so. Without further ado, I introduce to you our new feature for this month, which is automated list management. So back in April of 2016, we created a new email status called Unengage Marketable. Hopefully you all remember that. And that was in an effort to help you keep a healthy list of engaged contacts. So it was automatically applied on a weekly basis to any email address that is not engaged with your marketing efforts in the last four months. With this update, you can now set that time frame to which a contact would be set to unengaged marketable status and a few other things. So let me show you the details. If you navigate over to marketing and then settings, you'll see a new option for automated list management. Then you'll see two email statuses here, unengaged marketable status and unengaged non-marketable status. So to give you some context, Unengaged marketable contacts will still be eligible to send email to, but our track is not having engaged. Unengaged non-marketable contacts will no longer be eligible to send email to unless they engage with an email they've already received from you. So both statuses are automatically applied, but you can determine the timeframes of this happening in months. Unengaged marketable should be applied first to track when the contact is unengaged and after a reasonable amount of time, the system will change the status to unengaged on marketable so you don't have to manually do list hygiene, which is a crucial email marketing best practice. On this page, you can set the threshold for when the two statuses are applied just by replacing the number here or using these up and down arrows, either way. A few things to highlight, if you don't want to utilize the unengaged non marketable status, you can set it to off by using this toggle. The minimum threshold is one month and the maximum is 24 months. If you turn on the non-marketable status, the threshold does need to be larger than or equal to the unengaged marketable threshold. And the default timeframes for both of these statuses are the recommended timeframes if you choose to just go with the standard four months and 12 months for that unengaged non-marketable status. Once you're done on this page, all you need to do is hit save and that's it. Two need to knows, if a contact is in either unengaged status and they engage with one of your emails, their email will return to its previous state, whether that be confirmed or unconfirmed. And last, engagement is considered an open, click, or web form submission. Why is this so cool, you ask? Well, now you don't have to play the guessing game of who's engaged with my content. You know exactly who those people are, which is crucial to keeping a healthy and clean list, which happens to play a critical part of email deliverability and inbox placement. And the cherry on top of this list hygiene Sunday is you can trigger automation once a contact status changes to one of these statuses. So let me show you what I'm talking about. From this marketing settings page, we're gonna scroll down the page and we're gonna select email status automation. Once we do, from this dropdown, I'm gonna select when a contact status changes and then add trigger. From here, I can decide once the status changes to any of these statuses, what do I wanna happen? And I can select anything from this dropdown list. So as an example, when a contact status changes to unengaged non-marketable, I would like to be notified as a user. So I'm gonna select create a task. Thankfully, I have a template for that. I can edit it if I want or add a brand new template, hit save. And once I hit save trigger here, this will automatically run in the background without me having to do anything. So once their status change, changes to unengage marketable, this task will be created and I've now automated that process. And because I love you all, let me show you my favorite use of this feature. So I have two triggers set up, status changes to unengage marketable and unengage. 
So when the status changes to unengaged marketable, I have a tag titled unengaged marketable that will be applied to the contact record. When their status changes to unengaged on marketable, I have a tag, tag titled unengaged on marketable applied to the contact record. And I also have the unengaged marketable tag removed from them since they should already have that. Remember, unengaged marketable should be applied before unengaged non-marketable. So I wanna make sure I remove that unengaged marketable tag once they move into that non-marketable status. So to take this to the campaign builder, I created a campaign here that uses both of those tags. Once the unengaged marketable tag is applied, it'll launch them in this campaign, which will move them into this re-engagement sequence where I send re-engagement emails over a series of two weeks. At any time, if they engage with one of those emails by clicking a link, you'll see I have my goal here, it'll immediately pull them out of those re-engagement emails and I can continue forward with my marketing efforts because now I have a re-engage contact. On the flip side, at any time their status changes to the non-marketable, remember I have a tag being applied. Once that tag is applied, which this goal would be achieved, it'll pull them out of this re-engagement sequence, which is what I want. And then I have it moving into a sequence where it creates a task to notify me that they are now unengaged non-marketable and I then remove all of my email list tags, which means I'm taking them off of my list that I'm currently emailing to since they are in that non-marketable status. So now I have a clean list without any of the manual work and we've used just those triggers and those two statuses. And again, you get to control when that unengaged marketable status and non-marketable status are applied to the contact record. So this is tailored to you and this allows you to know who your engaged and unengaged contacts are. I told you that this was a fantastic update and I hope you're excited to use this new feature. But that brings us to a close for this month. Until next time.